what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today you guys we are going i'm saying we because on another episode of adventures with mo and crystal <laughs> So Crystal got invited to a party, so I'm super excited because it's my first time going to one of these parties. We're showing up fashionably late, you guys, because I think the party started at 9, huh? Yeah. So we're, it's already like 11, I think. Yeah, 11. Yeah, it's 11, guys. So we're a little late or whatever. So I didn't even get to show you guys my outfit because I fucking changed you guys like, like three times. Three times, but... This one I ended up wearing something simple, whatever. You can't go wrong with black. So we're on our way to the party. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. To eat you guys at Marisco's garage. We had a long night, huh, friend? Yeah, we had a very long night, but it was fun. Yeah, I had hella fun. I'll tell you guys the cheese in there right now. I need to order some food because I'm fucking starving. These Marisco's are so fucking fire, you guys. Hi, sister. We're back. You guys, might, I think they're popping on TikTok. You guys might have seen them on TikTok. What are you gonna order, friend? Breeze plate. Breeze plate. What is that? Um, it's camarones with all the sauces. Hi, girl. I brought my dad. <laughs> we came with Crystal's parents. Me trajo muchas memorias. Muchísimas memorias. Me da mucho gusto que Sí, le digo que me remontó 52 años atrás. Oh my god. Yeah. He loved the food here. Estaba... Oh, sí. Está muy sabroso. Lo hizo venir hoy. Sí. <laughs> no, gracias. Usted está muy sabroso. We bring you back memories, guys. Mm -hmm. um, can I do Reese plate large with just the pepino? The three tacos? Uh, yeah. Please. What do you want? And then... Tacos, how many? Three, so we can share. Three? Yeah. And then... Thank you. Okay. Can I get a aguachile? Okay. And then I'll get one taco gobernador. <laughs> Look, you guys, this is the owner right here. This is a separate restaurant, and like this is where we come get our drinks at. This lady makes the bombest beer, like, like the way she prepares it. It's for my dad. He likes the botella. The way she prepares the beer, you guys, is so bomb. She puts like hella lime in it and like one packet of salt. No, two. She put two? Yes. Okay. Two. I got because I need to pay attention. I want to yes, do that one. And it's so fucking fire. I think it's the jugo de limón that makes it taste like even better. Yeah, it's like ugh, so fucking amazing. Porque no es de botella, it's uh -huh. like the actual limón. So she already put the lime in it and the salt. It's about to taste amazing. <laughs> Gracias. My mouth is already watering because it's so fucking fire. So this is our like little setup right here. Where's the little girl at? Oh, I think she's over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. She wants me to go take a picture of her. Alright, guys, I'm gonna do a taste test on my beer. <laughs> so fucking amazing, you guys. I recommend. The way she made it, she put hella lime and like two packets of salt. So fucking delicious. Bueno, pues yo también. All right, guys. Yo también. Se van a morir de hambre. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look at how bomb this looks, you guys. I want to just take a picture for this. Abre la tu costa. A ver, a ver. Yo voy a tomar. Look, pero let's fire. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a taste test. I've had these mariscos before, but they're fucking. Fire. <laughs> so I got an aguachile. I got the green one. The green one is the spiciest one. But I love spicy food. I forgot to order my aguacate. You guys know I live for aguacate. Oh, uh, my watch. Your watch. These mariscos are fucking fire, you guys. 
And I'm gonna try the tacos gobernador. The taco gobernador is so fucking bomb, you guys. Look at that. Fucking amazing, you guys. I've been eating my tostadas with mayo. I know it's a Sinaloa thing, but honestly, it's kind of good. I'm doing a taste test with the with the mayo. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that. Oh, okay. I don't know. Mom. They want for If you haven't tried it, I know it looks a, it looks exotic if you haven't tried it, but it's really good. If you guys want to check them out on Instagram, that's their IG. <laughs> Owner, the one who made the magic happen. When you guys were in Long Beach. Yes. yes, best mariscos in Long Beach. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going down Crystal's dad's hood, he said. This is where, when he came from Mexico to the United States, this was his hood. Oh, ya quitaron los apartamentos. Oh, lo hicieron casa. This is where you and your mom live? No, no. When I fell here first. Wow. Oh, yes. This is your hood then? Hace 37 years. Damn. No, more than 37. I fell in 79. Oh, 79? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nosotros tenemos 37 37. De I was telling Crystal's parents that Compton doesn't look as bad as how they make it seem in the movies, but they were saying that it actually was bad before, like back in like the early 90s. Mm -hmm. And they said that it calmed down now, so it's not like, it doesn't look like how it does on the movies now. But they said like the other areas are a little bad, but like their block is pretty cool. Look, you guys. For those of you guys who don't know, there's ranchos in, in Compton. Here comes that boy or girl. Can I have a ride in your Ferrari? Period. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear her. Okay. We're on a field trip. <laughs> Compton real trip. Yeah, estamos en un Compton uh, field trip. No ven que Compton tiene cosas malas. No no, más hay, no, no más hay puras balaceras. Exacto, también hay caballos, ranchos ajá, y cosas buenas. Ajá. Esto es Campton Hills. Campton Hills, ¿ya ves? Rancho Hills. Yeah, también tiene sus hills chiquitas, pero tiene. You guys, I was so shook when I found out there was ranchos in Compton because I had never heard of that. And so I started visiting Crystal and I would see like fucking gallos and horses. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is there people riding their horses in Compton? <laughs> and then Crystal's like, oh, because there's ranchos in Compton. I did not know that. Okay, so we're right here in Compton and this is, so this right here is a rancho. Yeah, it's in the back of the house. The guy's probably like, why are you guys recording? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the animals. <laughs> I've never been on this side of Compton. No? Some of these houses have the rancho. Oh, look, like, this one's nice. Yeah, some of them just have the big house, but some do have the rancho in the back. Like, my friend, Stephanie, she lives right here. She has a big, big rancho. Yeah. Big rancho. Oh, okay, there's another one. For the horses. And then they throw a lot of artists have their parties here, too. Because they do the, the horses, the baile, with the horses. Oh, really? Like, like there goes a, a gallo, you guys. Oh, it's gallina. No, sé. Oh, there's those. In Compton, guys. Oh, so they give us. Yeah. Oh, but we have those on my block. <laughs> Pero es que si los cubren. Oh, yeah, Todo esto es puro rancho. Todo su rancho. No que le ponen las plantas para que no se vea tan. Yeah. We just got back to Crystal's. Um, Crystal's dad was actually telling me a little bit of the history behind the ranchos in Compton. He said that there was like this rich guy who owned a lot of property in Compton back in the day. 
and he said that once he sold the property like he sold the property he sold like his big ass because he owned like a lot of compton so he said that he sold the property but he basically told like the city or i don't know who that they have to let horses because he used to own a lot of horses so he said that they have to let horses live in compton and they could like ride around and stuff but omg you guys last night i had so much fun it just sucks that we couldn't record and actually a few girls got kicked out because they didn't listen and they were recording so I can only imagine why they weren't letting us record, but whatevs. We respected the rules or whatever. And they had like an open bar. It was like a little private party. They had like a banda. They had a taco guy. It was pretty lit. There's like a bunch of like little private parties out here in LA like that, you guys. That's why I love it out here. And everything is like so like organized. Like they'll they'll be like after parties that is not really like a club but they have it set up as a club like it's weird but it's like underground shit so today's monday yesterday was easter and oh my god you guys so i was planning on filming for you guys i just woke up so i look a little crazy i was planning on filming for easter for you guys valiendo madre yesterday so bad so obviously easter is on sunday on saturday i went to jenny's trintañera it was so fun but i had a little too much fun i honestly i had the worst hangover yesterday and i honestly think right now i have a flare-up because um i always tell you guys i have like stomach problems so whenever i have a flare-up um my my stomach gets very sensitive with alcohol so like it just makes me like super nauseous so i didn't eat before i went to the party and i think that had something to do with it because i didn't have nothing in my stomach and then i just i drank so uh, yesterday for easter you guys I was like hugging the toilet. My family had a carne asada, they hid the eggs, and I literally missed all of it, you guys, because I was literally hugging the toilet all day. I know I have a flare-up because if I drink like caffeine, I feel like nauseous, or like if I have like one beer, I'll feel nauseous, or even like a couple drinks. I don't even have to get like shit face to get nauseous. Like I could have like two drinks and I will feel nauseous. So it's not that I'm like blacking out, it's just I have like stomach problems and right now I have a flare-up. So usually when I have a flare-up, I have to try not to eat so much chile or I try not to have so much caffeine or anything that will irritate my stomach for at least maybe like two weeks. And then after that, I feel better. I need to change my diet up completely. Um, but it's just being, it's really hard because like I'm Mexican and we eat chile with everything. Honestly, the chile is what irritates my stomach the most, but... Literally, food doesn't taste like nothing to me if it's not drenched in chiles. I need to work on that. So anyways, I have a couple clips of Jenny's party. I didn't vlog, uh, but I did take like a couple like videos on my phone. Um, so I'll, I'll throw them in so you guys could see a little sneak peek at her party.
Shout out to everybody who made it out tonight, y'all. party so today um i'm trying to get the house together um brett's editing a video right now so i'm just trying to clean up a little bit because we haven't cleaned like for a couple days so this is the kitchen right now ramiro's washing our trash bin so it's usually right there so we're just throwing in our trash in here so yeah guys this is not too many dishes today And then the dog's toys. And then I have to sweep. My pups, they need a shower too. So anyways guys, I'm going to start washing the dishes. And I'm playing a little documentary on my phone. It keeps me entertained while I do the, while I clean.
did you want to play with you or you think I want to play with you? Mm-hmm. Are they being mean? No. Do you be mean to my baby? I don't play with me. I play with you? Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning right now, Pa. Mm -hmm. You want me to put a movie on for you? just finished up tidying up I guess this is like one of our living rooms I don't know what you would call this but these boxes right here um we get like so much PR and we just get a lot of things in general in the mail we recycle all these boxes so I just lined them up right here for Ramiro because he's the one that cuts them up and puts them in the recycling bin we got Benji and Mamas they're paid actors and all this so yeah, I just tidied up a little bit. And then here we have our dining room. And here's the living room. I pay you me. What, Pa? I pay with you right now, okay? So here's the living room. I see more. Wow. Um, you guys see me take the other blanket off because me, me pa. Oh, it's me. You guys see me take off the other blanket because it was dirty. Oh my god, I still have my band on from Jenny's thing. I was so hungover yesterday, I forgot to take it off. So I tidied up a little bit. He's watching Garfield. Every time Garfield. I see Garfield, I want lasagna. Yeah. Did you know Garfield likes lasagna? I uh, no. He loves lasagna. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Here is the kitchen. A kitchen. I tidied up. I like kitchen. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, my daddy's. it's like your daddy's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He appreciates my work. Okay guys, so there's only one thing left to clean in the house, which is my room. And it's a total disaster. I'm, like, I'm even embarrassed to show you guys. But it's been like one of those like weekends where you're just out. And like as soon as madre trying to figure out what to wear and getting ready. And yeah, so that's my excuse. But I'm going to clean it up. So don't be appalled at how messy it is. So this is what my room looks like right now. I know, mess, but we're going to tidy it up. This drawer right here, um, it's like broken, so it's always gonna look messy because it doesn't like close right. I need to buy another one, but whatever, it is what it is. So I'm going to start cleaning. And you guys, I have like a ton of waters right there, but I drink them all, so I don't throw nothing away.
process of cleaning you guys but i'm gonna take a little food break because i'm starving Britt made dinner tonight and she made fajitas yeah it's been a minute look at how bomb that looks and she made some rice all right guys so here is my plate i put the fajitas or chicken fajitas with the rice bread made um some chile serrano aguacate queso fresco and i put a little bit of sour cream and i have my little tortillas here and fuck i'm getting addicted to doritos again you guys it's my guilty pleasure all right so i have my flour tortilla i fucking love flour tortillas guys i heard corn tortillas are better for you but i don't know i just can't really get into it i mean i'll eat corn corn tortillas with like tacos and stuff but Everything else, I don't know. And then I'm gonna put... <sighs> My mouth is like watery already. So now I'm gonna put the fajitas Brit made. And I'm gonna put some rice in it. Some rice. And then I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream. I used to eat sour cream a lot too, but I had to cut down because your girl was getting a little too thick. So now I'm going to put some tapatio on my taco. And then Britt made like this green salsa. It looks delish. I'm so fucking hungry, guys. This is what my taco looks like. I look crazy because I've been cleaning, but... fire you guys Hey guys, so uh, I today's the next day guys. Literally, I stayed up till midnight cleaning my room and folding clothes. Took me forever. Um, so let me just show you guys what it looks like now. I just got out the shower, so I gotta get ready because I want to do a haul for you guys. I haven't done one in forever, but before I get my room dirty again, getting ready, let me just show you guys. Wow. So I know it looks a little cluttered, but my room's kind of like small, so I have a lot of stuff, but I feel like it's more organized. Everything is nice and clean and organized and put away. I have to open up those bags. I have like new clothes that I just got. I also organized my rack. I put away like some sweaters and jackets that I'm not gonna use anytime soon in the hallway closet, the other closet that I have. Um, so right here I just hang ah. stuff that's brand new and that I'm most likely going to wear soon. And then here I have Yukes and Mamas. They fucking they play all day, you guys. Literally all day. And it's funny how he lays down. So he tries to make it a fair fight. And those are waters that I'm still drinking, you guys, so I didn't want to throw them away. I leave them in my nightstand because I will drink them. You guys, I came to a Dodger game. I don't know what's going on. 
I'm home now you guys and I just finished making dinner. Britt helped me. Um, I made hamburgers today with macaroni salad and fries. I wanted to make something quick because I still have to like make some content. So I made something quick. This is our little burger setup that we have here. Britt cut up the veggies. We have some bacon. Making the burgers. Damn, those burgers look bomb. I know, I can't wait to eat, I'm starving. And then here I have my famous macaroni salad and this um, chip dip that we love. They, they sell it at Walmart and at Food For Less. So bomb, you guys. This is the one that we get, super bomb. Thanks, Ron. All right, guys, I haven't made my plate yet, but look at Britt's plate. I hooked it up, I that like pickles. That shit looks fire. It's fine, you guys. Make a homemade burger dish. There ain't nothing. Don't forget like... the sides. Oh, yep. Whose plate is this one? JJ's? Mm -hmm. JJ likes macaroni salad. He's like a grown man. Mm -hmm. And then we have this dinosaur over here. He's waiting for food. I am so freaking hungry, you guys. This is literally my first meal. And it's 1.30 in the morning. I haven't ate all day. I've been like super busy. So here goes my cheeseburger that I made. I know my plate looks a little exotic, but... And then I, I did a TikTok today on my famous macaroni salad. I put it on a nice plate just so that I have... For like, you know, the representation. So, all right. I'm going to do a fetish bite with you guys of my hamburger. I'm so hungry, you guys. All right. Let me do a little sneak peek. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. This is what it looks like. Words can't even describe how much, how bomb this is right now. And you guys, I love, oh my God, I have like ketchup all over my face. That's how you know I'm eating good. You guys, I love eating my macaroni salad with Doritos. Literally, I buy Doritos specifically to eat it with my macaroni salad. And I always add tapatio. Tapatio is a must. If you guys missed this recipe, I posted this recipe like 10 times already. But I have a video on it on my YouTube channel and I'm putting it on TikTok. Hold on. And that is it for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you guys so much for following me throughout my week. I just, I love to give you guys a little sneak peek on what's going on in my life. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you guys like these little daily vlogs or weekly vlogs so I can keep doing more. Thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.